So where we left off, we are having a chill Sunday, just completely coming in the studio and finding inspiration, and we're using Spectrasonic's Omnisphere, uh, which is one of my favorite plugins when I really don't have any idea what I'm doing, and I don't want to write the same old stuff I've been writing. So this, I go into Omnisphere, we found this one sound, which The reason I'm not hearing it, or me, is because uh, Omnisphere needs to be in solo safe, which we'll get there. So the, that's both parts. This is just the one part. That's Pursuit right here, playing on channel one of Omnisphere. We went to channel two, and we chose this sound right here. Fusion, and now we have another track in record, and we have a pad sound chosen for MIDI channel three. We went through, we chose pads, soft and warm, and we just took the first one. We can always change sounds, so this is where, again, I try my darndest not to get stuck on the sound. Find a part, find a sound that, that will work for the moment, and get the part down and keep the creativity going. If I get into technical brain and start thinking, oh, the sound has to have this much delay and it's got to sound a little edgier, it's got to, I'm going to get out of my creative brain and I'm going to get into my technical brain and they just really don't get along too well. So I'm going to come back when I'm in my technical brain and maybe tweak the sound or change the sound. But the most important thing is while I'm in a groove, I'm going to put the part down, okay? I'm going to save. I'm going to hit return. I've got MIDI channel 3 over here in record. I've got a pad sound on channel 3. I'm recording. Here we go. I'm going to do a walk-up part. Uh, here we go. So you'll notice that I did not unmute the pursuit track. So check this out. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this track bigger. I'm going to view it in notes. I'm going to save. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to hit option zero to quantize. I'm going to hit return. And is that is that working? Uh, apply. There we go. Uh, now we've quantized this part. So now, you know what? I kind of liked it without the pursuit part coming in at first. So watch this. I'm going to take all three of these tracks. We're all in notes, right? It says right here, notes. Everybody's in notes. And if they weren't, I could hold the option key and choose notes. And now all of these tracks are in notes mode. Uh, we'll Again, we'll get there. So I have all this highlighted. I'm in grid mode. I have eight bars. I'm going to hit Command D. So I just duplicated those eight bars. And so now, what if I don't want the pursuit part playing up until there? Let me unmute the track. So there's a couple ways to do it. I could just go through here and delete, and then bam, I'm not, I don't have them. Another option, if you're not quite sure about something and you don't want to get rid of it, you can Command M, mute. Oops, that muted that. Uh, I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to hit Command M. And I don't know why, ah, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, normally, you can, let's like take this. If I wanted this to just mute Command M, it's, now you'll notice this is gray, this is purple. Um, this part, I don't know, I need to look at and see what the, ha I'm going to zoom in and see what the deal is here. So there's, there's this funky edit thing that's in here, and I don't know why, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. This is, again, if things aren't working, move on to the next thing. Don't get stuck. So we decided we don't want this pursuit part up until this other track. I can, if I want to keep it, I can make duplicate the playlist just in case, and I can call it pursuit edit. And now on this playlist, I can take it all the way up until bar nine and delete. So now, if we listen, I'm going to save. I'm going to rename this part right here, Pad. And now we've got... 
but I do want to unmute the pad. I'm going to highlight it, Command M. Command M mutes and unmutes. You can use the same thing also with audio regions. We're, going to, we're definitely going to use it. I'm going to mute the click. these parts came in a little too early I meant it just I meant for it to start there so I'm just gonna highlight those and delete it okay so this is where I mean maybe now that do I want to grab a, a piano part and start playing piano on top of this do I want more drums do I like this idea, but I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet. Maybe I need a bass part. So this is where you just play and play and add parts. I would go back to Omnisphere if I wanted a bass part and I'd say, you know what? Give me MIDI channel, one MIDI track. Let's make it a MIDI track and I'm gonna make it MIDI channel four of Omnisphere. I'm gonna save. And this is going to be a base. So then I go back to Omnisphere. And let's say we want to find a base sound. So I go to part number four. I don't go on top of the other three parts I'm using. I have a whole new track. And now I'm going to go here to bass instruments. And I can go over here and just look through all of them. I don't have it in record. So. I'm not hearing it because why omnisphere channel oh it's you see right here it's loading so it's a large sound it's taking a lot of samples and we probably don't want because we're already getting errors because um uh let's uh, go uh i have no idea uh, retro 60s Retro 60s full range. I'm going to double click on it and you'll see again it's loading. It takes a minute to load. It looks like we're getting like a Beatles Hofner bass. We don't know if that's the right sound or anything. But it's coming. It's coming. Here we go. Feel the love. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to save. Uh, this is where I would just listen. I need to bring the... the bring the click track back in so I have the start. Um, I'm just putting it in record. I don't sit here and I figure out the parts. I put things in record and I go. Again, I could sit here and perfect, 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 and an hour later I still don't have a bass part. If you just put stuff in record, there's no reason why you should not always be recording. Even if it sucks, you can always record over it, which is what I just keep doing. I'm gonna hit return to go back to the beginning. Command space bar to record. So again, I always want to keep my groove going. I do not want to get stuck in the minutia of the song. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to take my bass part. I'm going to go to notes and I'm going to scroll down so I can see it. There it is. And I'm going to quantize and this is not quarter notes. I think I'm doing eighth notes. Let's apply and see. Let's listen. This is an example of what I'm going to show you. I'm going to take this part and I'm going to close quantize. I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to duplicate and duplicate again. And now I'm going to change the sound over here. So let's go over here. Let's try, you know, maybe a synth bass. So back here on part four, instead of this retro 60 thing, let's see, you know, what would a synth bass sound like? So I'm just gonna say, you know what, to heck with retro 60, let's choose a synth bass, and let me take this, uh, I have no idea, bass feeders, whatever the heck that is, and let's listen. So I'm gonna just start going, hitting the down arrow while the song is playing. I'm gonna put this song in loop mode, 
and let's just save and let's just listen and scroll down bass parts until we find one we like. So instead of going through all these sounds, because it's they're not clearly not what I'm looking for, I'm gonna go for over here, deep tones. And let's see what deep tones, if we come up with something a little more appropriate. We've got our, our base. So you see, sometimes you get the part, then you go sound searching until you find the right sound and you save, always save. Okay, we're not the world's greatest song, but again, we've just spent an hour or so on a Sunday. We've just been playing. So now we're going to use a different plugin uh, called Easy Drummer. We're just going to throw in some drum parts and just want to show you how easy it is and also how important it is to have these plugins. So let's, let's do that. 